surface analysis of silver nanoparticle and CNT ink by using AFM machine. AFM is located in the second floor of the RA building in the room A. And here are the accessories of the AFM machine. The purpose of this project is to analyze the surface of conductive ink that can be easily used in many printing machines such as Sonoplot, Dematex, and Inject Printer. So first, let's start with the sample preparation. We attach the sample on the slide glass using carbon tape and make sure our sample is properly stuck with the right location. Next, let's move to the instrument manual. Before starting the experiment, we need to fill in the record book first. After filling it in, we can turn on the computer, the scan control C, and the light source in the order. After that, we turn on the vibration isolation table. When everything is on, click CCD camera file software on the monitor screen. After running CCD camera, let's choose the file capture window and let down the z-axis at most and focus with 10x lens then load the sample on the plate properly. We can focus by using the z-axis to adjust. And focus on the detection area by pushing the handle and xy-axis handle. And change to 50x lens and focus again. Once you finish adjusting it, pull out the handle and see the surface on the monitor. When the picture appears, adjust the z-axis to focus. And then we can edit the photo by editing window on the left side. And once we edited it, we can capture the photo using the camera button on the top right and save the file in the Motec Image Plus window. Next, change to the cantilever tip holding the upper side of the lens. Execute the AFM program on the screen. The upper menu buttons are for mode channel, tape approach, start scan, single scan, stop, save, respectively. So just click the tape approach button. And click the automatic button on the operating point adjusting section. Then check if the bar turned to be yellow and it is located in the middle of the bar. And then click on the Freak Selection and Reset button. Click on the Zoom Selection button. Zoom in and select the peak of the curve and then click OK button. Click the button and see if the equipment approach to the cantilever tip and stop automatically. If the Z range bar is around 50% and turn to be yellow, click OK button. And set the side, offset, angle and the scan area on the XY control window and also set the scan speed. The total speed must be less than 40 micrometer per second. Set the resolution and click the single scan button. Then adjust the display sensitivity button to see the peak inside the blue window. Next, wait until it finished scanning. Remember that it is fragile to be vibration, so be careful.
Once we have done scanning, just save the file. So let's move to image processing. Execute the image processing app and open the file. You can feed the data on the plan by this button and click the three point and level the data. After you have selected, click apply to the data. And you can see the three dimension data by clicking view 3D data button, checking if it is leveled correctly. When you finish checking it, click the tool Extract Profile along the arbitrary line. Then you can check the height of the selected section. Click tool Measure Distance and Directions Between Points. Then you can check the direction and distance of the line. And then click to calculate roughness parameters. Cut off roughness, then you can check the roughness or other parameters. Now, let's move to how to turn it off. Roll the Z-axis and let down the plate. And remove the sample. Turn off the vibration isolation table. Computer. Scan Ctrl C and light source in the order. Last but not least is the data analysis. Here are the data of silver and CNT ink on the PDMS film. We can compare two data using the image processing app. There is significantly difference in 3D dimension. We can select which equipment is appropriate for our sample. This is the example of the same CNT, Silver Nanoparticle Ink by AFM and SEM. You have to choose the right instrument considering your sample's characteristics. Thank you.